okay uh, the first step in data analysis is the creation of data set and let us talk more about entering data into R uh, as we have already discussed how to enter data using combined function or concurrent function suppose I say that uh, X is a data vector having component let let us uh, type here X is equal to C stands for combined uh, combined function suppose I say 10 12 13, 14 and 15 and 20 this is my X I can I can call this just around this you you once you type x you can call it this is your x vector suppose uh, you have another vector y let us see uh, combine suppose this is 12 15 17 18 25 this is with same equal length y let me call y so if i if um i want to add these two vectors suppose z is equal to x plus y so once i call it so it is there in the ne say, next line i am writing here z i can give then this i can call in the same line just give putting here semicolon z it will directly show you the result this is one way so another way uh, just uh, before i proceed i mean while i'm defining the name of the ob object there are three principles we must keep in mind these principles like the first rule while we are defining this object name or assigning name object names in R are case sensitive so X is not same as capital X here I have given X if I call here like capital J you will see J is already there I have defined small z is equal to x plus y if I call it object z is not found so remember r is case sensitive so whatever name you are giving or assigning you must call as in the same name because if you if you call something like or in other name it will not respond but you will get error similarly uh, the second rule is object names should not begin with number this is important one if I if I am um, writing here like I can say uh, like Z1 is nothing suppose uh, I say X square in the semicolon I can write J1 so it will you will find all the squares of, uh, of each number of that vector here the point is uh, if, if I am giving uh, this one J what I said it should not begin with uh, like X is I'll get I hope I this will not work because unexpected symbol because the name of the object should not start or begin with number and another thing you must remember object names should not contain blank space if I write here like uh, J space 1 is equal to X 
plus y i will get error because unexpected numeric constant it means here is the blank space is there so it is better when i want to i can put here underscore so i think this this is going to work here if i take okay this is working so it means z underscore one if i run here so this is going to give me the result so so while um, so it, let us let us um, do some more calculation suppose um, there are five students and i have their suppose is i have with me i am entering this 23 18 27 32 18 16 how many students are 6 suppose uh, let make it 22 20 22 so uh, 3 6 I think this is 10 10 student A's is here is given suppose I have entered this data so let us call age this is my data uh, let us uh, do here some basic uh, statistical function or statistical computation like there are many inbuilt functions are there I just sim simply if you want to do some calculation here just just if you want to know what is their uh, average is here you can write mean age Okay, this is coming out 21.3 years so like if you if you want what is their median is you can write median is so this is going to be you run it 21 if, if you want what is the variance here variance of age or sometimes you need standard deviation of age so these are the simple descriptive ideas uh, you can just using this inbuilt function you can obtain so let us let us do like a minima maxima everything you can obtain just using this common like okay one thing uh, you can you can write your command uh, like uh, functions and uh, run at a time also it's a support I suppose I need range suppose I need their uh, like interquartile range uh, like so all these things I can in a, in a at a one go I can also run it means if I run this I can get all these values so this is how you can deal with the uh, how you can obtain the values a uh, descriptive uh, statistics for it's a very simple kind of thing what I'm discussing right now let us uh, suppose suppose here you you can also use another interesting one summary edge this will give you many things in one go this is giving you minimum first quartile median mean third quartile maximum so this is a quite interesting one right so actually r is an object oriented language all objects in r have a class I mean the form of the vector may be either numeric or it's, it, it can be a character or logical while we, th these are here we can say these are numeric values so while we, we say the character suppose here 10 uh, students I have considered suppose their 
gender is given like male female male female in this way while you are entering uh, like a character vector suppose i have written here sex i have to write or uh, enter it in the form of uh, character putting within quotes actually if i write male stands for m female stands for f in this way i can male female so i i if i don't want to go on writing all this thing i i just i can do one thing i can copy here since it is taking time i can simply do this again female male okay in this way i can write here sex of these students okay so these these are a characters uh, vector a uh, logical vector you know that uh, it means either true or false kind of thing so that is i think is known to you is a r has a wide variety of objects uh like uh, for holding data you, it can be a vector or matrix or arrays or data frame or list so while we th this is what we are discussing is a vector form just uh, uh, entering data in a vector form manually just uh, using this combined function but similarly all sorts of like matrix which is a two dimensional array when each element has the same mode i mean either in the numeric form or in the character form or integer form so it cannot be mixed one so it's a kind of two way uh, representation like row and column so how you can do some matrix computation or matrix uh, operations like let let us uh, do some uh, i will i will demonstrate few things here suppose suppose you you have a matrix of 3 by 3 uh, matrix uh, i say suppose capital a a matrix using matrix function matrix function what i can do here i can write c because i need to enter my data suppose i say 1 2 3 four, five, six, seven, eight. Suppose ten. These there are, and by row is equal to true. It means I I want the matrix should appear row wise by row. equal to true or i can write simply t and here i i have to write n row n row is equal to 3 because it's a 3 by 3 matrix and the same line if i want to call it i can put your capital a name of the matrix just see it so you just see here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 so it's a 3 by 3 matrix you can call it or uh, suppose the same thing suppose these this uh matrix suppose uh you what you need you need this in a column form suppose you have another matrix a1 which is you can put uh like you have to mention here f so right now he, he, this is a, you you got a different matrix so all like addition subtraction you know that matrix of the same order can be you can do no you can do its addition like a plus a1 which is 
just doing you can get this uh addis uh, like uh, mat matrix addition of two mat uh, two matrix a and a1 similarly if you want like uh subtraction a1 but matrix multiplication is different like if you if you just do simply multiplication here you can see something uh, like uh, it's only element wise multiplication you got right because if you see your a and a1 matrix just element but this is not what you want you you this is not matrix multiplication for matrix multiplication what you need a percentage star again percentage a1 this will give you matrix multiplication value because my element wise just uh, product value that was given a into a star where a into a1 i mean two matrix multiplication matrix multiplication can be done just giving a percentage star percentage a1 similarly if you, if you want to just obtain like uh, transpose uh, like simply you if you write t a1 it means this is um, your transpose so i can write here in the comment line transpose transpose of a you can just t a this is giving you your row become column right so if if you want like a determinant of matrix a so you just write here d t a so which is minus 3 similarly suppose you want uh, like uh, you you want uh, uh, what uh, next thing you want like uh, row sum or column sum of this matrix that is also possible here like you can you can say uh, row sums bracket me a and similarly column sums a or uh, like you can okay these are the row sum or column sum what uh, uh, suppose you need agent values and agent vectors of this given matrix you just write agent a this is what your agent these are the your agent values these are your agent vectors